if you disagree with that and if you think it's up to like society or if it's up to like you know genetics or some shit like you're a little honestly someone needs to say this to young men you have complete control and responsibility for where your life goes Adonis watches first man on YouTube. This guy's channel is what I consider like a legendary YouTube channel for young men. And I think this video is the most important one that I've personally watched of his. Let's go. Okay, guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about one of my favorite ever concepts, which is stick or twist. It's the hardest decision ever in a man's life, okay? And you might, you might get this decision multiple times, but it usually happens in your 20s, okay? It usually happens in your 20s. Well, let me break this down. There's so many guys that I speak to that I say to them, you know, they ask a couple questions like, how do you get to this position in life? How will I get to this position? How do I make things better? And I always say you have to sacrifice everything. You pretty much have to give up. It's in my ebook, I've written this exact line that you have men who give up their teens and 20s in favor of their 30s, 40s, and 50s will forever outrank the men that don't. Sacrifice everything. A quote that I've made and I've kept in mind for myself is sacrifice must be progressively overloaded. Say that to yourself right now. Sacrifice must be progressively overloaded. You understand progressive overload. That's where we go to the gym and every week we try and do more than we did the week before. In terms of your own growth and becoming successful as a young man, you need to constantly be thinking of other things that you can sacrifice. You may know my story of how I actually became a YouTuber. I I literally had to sacrifice the life that I had built up in a different city. Like I moved away from my parents' house. I went to university. I lived like the party fuckboy life. And after university, I got an apartment with the girl that I was dating. I dated this girl and I was with her. Like, you know, we lived together, bro. We literally had an apartment together for longer than a year. I built up an entire life. I literally had like a gamer girlfriend who I would like wake up with, would smoke weed, would fuck. Like I gave up a lot, man. If you want to become successful, you need to start making good sacrifices because at that moment, even though I was over in indulging in pleasure and I reached that point of life that I thought I wanted all this time. Like I thought I wanted, you know, like a consistent girl to bang and that I could play video games and smoke weed and everything. I gave that up so that I could start this business. Okay, well, in so many words, I don't know if it's the outrank thing, but you get my point, okay? That's when I tell them that they're gonna have to give up their teens and 20s in order to build a better life moving forward. Being the man at 25 isn't even close to being the man at 35 because of the added heights that you can hit. And this is what so many guys do. They're presented with an opportunity. They know what they should do, but they don't do it. And this is what I say to so many guys out there in the comments. And I love having these chats because I know it's about to change their life, what I'm about to say. You can kind of either see it on their face or you can see it in the comments that they reply back to you. You know, their last questions like, how do I get to that height? How do I get to these heights? How do I improve my money? How do I get to this point that I want to be at? And when I say you have to sacrifice something like women, they go, who? What do you mean? Well, you're going to have to bum around. You're going to have to wear shit clothes. You're not going to be able to get your hair cut for like three months. You can only get it cut like twice, three times a year, whatever. And they're like, wait, hang on, but I'm going to look like shit. Yeah. And you see that car that you've got, that nice one? Oh yeah, I saved up for that. Cost me 12,000. Yeah, you're going to have to sell it. No, but I can't sell it. I get so many women because of that car and all my friends think I'm rich and everyone thinks they're not willing to do it. And this is the decision of stick and twist or twist. This is the sacrifice that you should make as a young man who wants to become more successful. You really, really should take this seriously. So what he's just said then is that you should live a very frugal minimalist life as you try and make it in like your business or your career and this is exactly what this guy his name is Chris this is what Chris did in fact both of our sacrifices were like very very similar he lived with a girlfriend who he eventually left so that he could focus entirely on this business he started trimming his own hair off I did that over the COVID lockdown wearing the same clothes that's the type of shit that men who ruthlessly want to level up do and what he mentioned about the car is very interesting like sell the car or don't even get one at all I'm 24 years old almost 25 I've never had a car now fair enough I was in university for four years up until age 22 but for the last few years I could have bought a car but I literally remember journaling what the consequences of that would be and I knew for a fact like this is how much overthinking I was doing to try and secure success I knew for a fact if I bought a car I would be more active on like tinder going to hook up with girls and that would distract me away from my self-improvement in this YouTube channel you're in a scenario and anybody who's not played cards is basically let's say if you're trying to get to 21 which is the goal if you get to let's say 15 you can stick or twist you can decide to stick on 15 or you can say hey twist and they'll deal you another card you look at that card hopefully it's a six you know you're on 21 bang done you can't, you, you win the game, right? As long as nobody else has also got 21. This is the nature of life, okay? So let's picture 21 as being like the male advantage when you're at your absolute peak, when things could be amazing. Most guys are at like a 12, okay? Like, like an eight to, tw eight to 12. They're like just middle of the board or just below average and they're just, just kind of worming around in life and they get pre presented with a decision. Do you want to improve on this or do you want to cash out on what you've got and see where it can get you? And sadly, most guys say, well, I've got a nine to five job. I've got a little bit of money coming in now. I can, I, I've got enough to get a mortgage and to get a car on finance. And what that does is that presents to the world this false impression that you're doing very well for yourself. And what it also does is it attracts women. It gets other men to give you respect. It makes you look better. You feel better about yourself. It strokes your ego very nicely. But in reality, it actually does nothing for you. But so many guys cannot make that sacrifice. They're not willing to do what I've done, which, which is wear all the same clothes for like three years. I've got enough money to wear Gucci every single day. I'm, I'm not going to do that. I've spent thousands on my supplement. I've spent thousands on my website. I've spent thousands on crypto. I could have bought some nice clothes. I could have got a hair transplant. I could have got my ears pinned back, for example. I think that one's a little bigger than that one, I guess. So you can see what I mean if you're thinking, why would you do that? You know, I could have got all my teeth crowned and done and, you know, put in as veneers or whatever. What would it all be for? You know, that would be me sticking where I am right now and saying, I'm going to get a mortgage. I'm going to get a really nice car because I want people to think I'm doing great. I'm going to get a hair transplant because I'm insecure and I want people to think I'm really good looking right now. You know, I'm going to buy the nicest clothes so that I don't look like a bum. You're just sticking where you're at. You're not moving forward. You're
you're cashing in on what you currently have. You're at a level where you can afford a 10 grand car, okay? You're at a level where you can attract sixes in terms of women. You're at a level where you can wear a certain level of clothes that are just above average. You're at a level where the house that you can get is like a two bedroom apartment, okay? Is that the life that you've always dreamed of? For a lot of guys, probably not. Do you understand what he's talking about? Never get complacent. It's so easy as a young man, as soon as you've reached like an okay point of life, as soon as you've got like a decent job or your business starts making some money, that then, okay, you can stick where you're at, you can get complacent, you can buy that car on finance, you can go and rent an apartment inside the city and you'll be the big man that everyone respects. Your ego will get nice and heightened. It's that sacrifice where you take a step back from that life that you could have so that you can boost yourself forward with less distractions and more money to invest. Even before this video was made or before I watched it, I had this mindset when I moved back home, I knew for a fact that I was going to be perceived as being less, like lower than other people my age in terms of like the social hierarchy and success because they've all got cars. A lot of them have moved out from the parents' homes and they're all making money and everything. You have to take that hit to your ego to give yourself that capability to push yourself even further. And the reason they cash in is they cannot deal with that darkness of saying, I am going to look like shit. I'm going to have nothing. I'm going to give the impression to the world that I'm a bum. Everybody's going to think lesser of me. Everybody's going to judge me. Women aren't going to be attracted to me. Other men are going to be thinking they're better than me and they're going to look better than me, whatever. But long term, I'm going to win. Okay, this isn't halftime. This is the end of the game. That's where I'm going to win. I'm going to win at life. I'm not going to win at this year. That's what a lot of guys are doing. 2021, this summer is going to be my summer. I'm going to sleep with this many women. I'm going to buy these clothes. I'm going to get a haircut. I'm going to do it. Guys, you're unloading your whole gas tank. You're saying, hey, I can't go into the darkness. I don't know what's on the other side. It's a risk. I'm going to take what's currently available right now with my current budget, my current life, my current abilities. I'm not going to sacrifice everything and be willing to grow to get to the next level. I'm just going to take what I've got now. It's pretty much a certainty in life if you work on yourself that things are going to get better. But people see it as a gamble. They're like, yeah, but I can get this house now. I can get this car on finance now, which will attract a woman now, which means I can get her pregnant now, which means I can start a family, get married, and everyone thinks I'm accomplished. That's a stick. That is a stick mentality. You're just sticking where you are, where you are, where you're at. That's what you're doing. You're saying, this is this is my life. You're not rolling that dice and saying, fuck it, I'll go further. Ask yourself right now, really be introspective. Have you been sticking or have you been twisting recently? Think about the decisions that you've made over the last six months. Have you stuck with where you're at? Have you been cashing out? Have you been spending money? Have you been like enjoying life as it is right now? Or have you been twisting? Have you been delaying gratification for the sake of your future self's benefit? One of the things that he said at the start of this video is to sacrifice your teens and your twenties for the rest of your life. Hearing that probably makes you feel uncomfortable. Why? Because it's the opposite advice that you've ever been given even before. Every other person will tell you, no, enjoy your teens and enjoy your 20s. That's the best time of your life. It all goes downhill from there. Do you want to take advice from those people who are 30, 40 years old and they don't like their lives? Because the truth is this mindset of sacrificing your teens and your 20s, bro, you sacrifice a couple of years and you start having more fun than you've ever had before anyway. The sacrifice is the fun. The sacrifice is the enjoyment. Those months where you wake up early, where you go outside and you go for a run when it's still fucking pitch black. When you work on your business and you develop your skills, all day. When you go and train hard till you're gritting your teeth, when you look back to those months, you will feel so amazing about yourself. As soon as you hit that moment with those good habits, those harder choices, start giving you enjoyment straight away. The delayed gratification activities give you instant gratification. Bro, you've won. At that point, as long as you carry on, you have fucking won. It takes maybe one to two years to get to that point where you start to really enjoy the good habits. And at that point, the ball's rolling and like nothing can really stop you apart from yourself. Me and my girlfriend broke up and the conversation was, what do you want out of life? Well, she wanted kids, marriage, you know, mortgage, etc., and go down that route. And I was like, well, I want to really push forward with my business and I can see myself because it's a streaming platform. I can see myself being a billionaire. Okay. And don't get me wrong, guys. I've said before, I don't want to sit on my deathbed and be like, I was a billionaire. Yes. And nothing else. But what I'm saying is the possibilities and the freedoms that that would open up and the amount of potential that I believe I have in life and where I could reach. I want to take that box. I want to see how far I can go. So me and my ex, we were on different timelines. She wanted to go and do this sort of thing. I want to go and do that sort of thing. I could have stuck. I could have said, beautiful woman. Okay, she's Indian Caribbean. You can imagine how beautiful she is and she's thick as well. Like, you can imagine as a man how like attractive that would be as an idea to stay with, you know, get married, have kids. Everyone's like, he's the man, he's doing well for himself. I chose to twist. I chose to roll that dice again and say, let's go for it. Let's see what else I can do. Let's see how far I can go. Let's see what I can achieve. Because I know that all of that is, it's fantastic, but it's not my peak. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying her as in the woman. I would happily, if I got to my peak, still be with her, but have other things obviously in my life, whatever. But what I'm saying is I don't believe I could have done everything at once. I don't believe I could have been in a relationship, been a good boyfriend, been a good dad, funded everything and lived my dreams all at the same time. Like one was going to lose out. And because it's family, you know, I'm not going to disregard my kids. My business would have had to have missed out. My fitness probably would have slacked a little bit. I don't want that. This is, I think, the darkest part of this video, which you should consider like in silence and solitude, because this is the kind of shit that like, it's very controversial to talk about. But there is quite a big chance that as a young man, especially since you're on self-improvement, you're becoming more fit, you're becoming more attractive. You've probably have found that since you've been on self-improvement, you've been getting like more attraction from girls. And maybe you've been on self-improvement for a while. You've built a really nice body. You've got confidence and now you're literally dating girls. It's so so easy to get into this and then stick with where you're at 
and be so complacent because now it's like you finally got the girl, you're having sex, it feels awesome. What he's just said then really shows a big level of sacrifice that you might not really emphasize with right now. But imagine really making progress for so long, making money, getting fit, attracting a girl who really, really likes you, and then giving that up so that you can continue going full force ahead. The majority of men are not comfortable with that decision. You need to figure out your values because when I first heard this, this was the part of the video which I was completely against. And I was like, no, like love is the most important thing. And you know what's interesting? I'm gonna just be totally honest with you. This video, this concept of stick or twist, like this specific video after I watched it, took me out of two relationships. Two relationships that were pretty good and this thought would just click into my mind of like stick or twist. Are you gonna stick with where you're at right now? And it's such a dark thing to talk about because in modern society we never talk about breaking up with someone if we want to propel forward with our, like our business. It seems like a very heartless decision. I thought for so long that the number one most important thing for me was love. I was so sure of that. But then when I would be in these relationships so the two relationships I had after this video but also that one main relationship who I lived with, I would always have this nagging like negative feeling throughout the entire relationship because I realized that I was sacrificing my potential by being in a relationship that kept me complacent. Now that is not the woman's fault. This is something very important. We do not blame women for this. We take 100% responsibility for everything in our lives. That was my fault. I got complacent. But the truth is I've seen this habit with myself so many times. I get complacent when I'm in a relationship. I get complacent when I'm dating a girl seriously. I've always noticed there's something that I'm trying to improve on, or at least now for this period of my life, I want to focus on just Twisting. I'm not one of these soft little pussies that sits there and says, oh yeah, I know, but I don't know if I get rid of her, is there anybody else? I've, guys, of course there's somebody else. And there's much better women out there. Right now, you cannot get them. And that's why so many guys are scared. Yeah, but if I get rid of this girl right now, I'll never attract another one better. Yeah, right now. And that's why you're a fanny. Because if you put the work in, if you got rid of that scenario, put the work in, sacrifice money, time, everything, look like a bum for two, three years, four years, five years, whatever it might be, sacrifice all the money and put it into something that's actually going to grow and go forward in the future. Dress like a bum, let your hair grow out, whatever. Or like me, just fucking razor blade the lot off. You know, obviously I've gone bold, but there was a point where, I, to be honest, if I let it grow back, there's quite a lot of hair, to be honest. There's just like a bold patch there and something else. Instead of paying for haircuts to kind of make it look a little bit better, give me the razor blade, it's cheaper, I'll shave it all off. I don't give a fuck. If I'm 36, rich and bored, you know, I might sit there and think, well, fuck it, I'll pay for a hair transplant. Like at that point, you can do those things. Life's up to you at that point. But in these early years, you've got to be willing to go through that darkness, the uncertainty, the unknown years, where you say, I'm going to sacrifice everything I've currently got to cash in for something better. That phrase that he said is very important, cashing out right now. Close your eyes and really see that mindset. Are you cashing out right now? This is controversial shit because the biggest thing that we really need to talk about is in your relationships that you have now. He said, that, okay, you might have that girlfriend right now, but with enough work in the future, if you twist, if you keep working hard, if you keep making sacrifices, you will attract a better woman. I've spoke about this concept previously and like I got a lot of hate for it because it just sounds incredibly heartless. But someone needs to tell it to you like I'm so proud of Chris for opening himself up to like you know this hate and negative and like controversial topics because someone needs to tell this to young men are you sure that you want to stick with where you're at right now maybe you have a crush on a girl maybe you have a girlfriend are you sure that she's like one of the best women that you could ever get do you really want to stick with her ah oh, it's so dark that I might not even include this in the fucking video because it's just like it's so controversial and so many people are gonna hate on the idea it's something to consider because you're on self-improvement you're gonna continuously keep becoming more attractive more confident more successful one thing that you're gonna notice Maybe you haven't just yet, but one thing you're gonna notice every couple of months You're gonna start attracting like a new tier of like relationship You're gonna attract a woman who's more attractive emotionally mature on a positive growth trajectory She's got good habits every three to six months You're really gonna notice the difference and so do you want to just stop with where you're at right now? And most guys do not have the big fucking nuts to pull that off. That's the problem They don't want to roll that dice because they're petrified of what happens next. They have a scarcity mindset If I lose her, I will never get someone better if I don't buy a house and a car now I will never get there in the future or instant gratification. I want it now so that I can get a partner because I'm scared of being alone forever and I want everyone to think I'm doing well and I'm petrified that people won't and I'm coming up to 30 now. Shit, you know, this is how people live. You've got to relax and trust in the process. You've got to twist. You've got to be on 15 and saying, give me a fucking another card. Let's see what it is. And you might go bust, but at least you fucking tried, right? But I can't tell you, it's not like cards. This isn't like gambling. This is life. It's a little bit different, okay? If you put in that work, if you dedicate, if you make calculated decisions. This stick or twist concept that he's got, he's gotten it from the game of cards, like this game called 21. And if you don't know, it's like pretty much you get given a couple of cards and you're trying to just add them up to 21. So it's quite heavily, it's based on luck, but then it's also like some skill involved because you can choose when to like take another card. So if you've got 15, you could think, hmm, I'm seven away from 21, I could get another card. But if it's eight and I go above 21, then you lose. But what he's saying here is that in real life, you have way more control over this concept. If you choose to twist, if you choose to not get complacent, if you choose 
choose to not cash out right now, you have complete control and responsibility of what your life looks like in the future. If you disagree with that and if you think it's up to like society or if it's up to like you know genetics or some shit, like you're a little bitch. Honestly, someone needs to say this to young men. You have complete control and responsibility for where your life goes. You choose the level of success that you want in life, so why not choose highly? Marriage, having kids too early, getting a mortgage when you shouldn't have, you know, putting all your money in property, renting it out, not making a lot of money. You know, little things like that where people, it's kind of the normal life where people are telling you, oh, do this, do this, do this, it's smart, but nobody's rich. Nobody's got a good life. Nobody's doing what they want to do. You know, not getting in the gym young, not lifting heavy weights young and thinking, oh, I don't want to get too big, I want to do kind of, if you don't tick all these necessary boxes and do the correct things at the correct time, things will go wrong. But if you do stick in that process, if you do trust in it, if you do attack it like a monster, if you do go for that outlier male mindset and say, today, I'm not where I want to be and I'm not willing to, I'm not willing to settle. But tomorrow, I will be in a much better scenario and then my rewards will arrive, okay? Because it happens to every guy. You, let's say, for example, you do go through a breakup. There's multiple times where you will get lonely. You will sit there and you will think, God, I want somebody who is on the level of the previous girl that I had. You know, oh, do I go lower just for the sake of just satisfying myself? No, you stay high. You keep those goals high, okay? Until you can get there. Now, there might be a woman who's out of reach right now. You'll be able to get her one day. There's a success guru and author called Grant Cardone. And he said that if you're struggling to reach your goals, never ever reduce your goal. Instead, increase the action that you take. That is like the abundance mindset. I've said on previous videos, it's so important for you to write down the characteristics of the relationship and the type of woman that you want to date and do not settle. Do not lower your standards just to get what you want right now. If you're in a relationship right now and you're thinking, oh yeah, you know, she's kind of nice and I get to have sex, but she's not like that great and she's not gonna be my wife. She's not gonna be the mother of my children. Bro, all you're doing is wasting time, wasting money, and you're disrespecting her. You're not in the perfect shape that you want to be in right now, and there's a certain woman or a certain lifestyle that's in line with that, but you want to be in better shape and you know you can go higher, well, you've got to sit that out. You've got to sit that out for three, four years. You're looking at a certain house and you think, it's not really the house I want to live in, it's a bit shit actually. I've always dreamed of being in that house, but I don't really have money to be in that house. I'll settle for that house over there because it's going to get me the woman, it's going to get me the kids, and what everyone's going to think I'm doing well. One thing that's really important what he's just talking about is that when you choose to stick, when you choose to get complacent, you actually lower your long-term potential. So sticking, getting complacent, getting the house that you don't really want, or the car that you don't really want, or the relationship, the woman that you don't really want, and saying that, oh, it's good enough for now, maybe I'll improve and get better later. What you've got to realize is that the more you stick, the more your long-term potential gets sacrificed. If that's not the fucking house that you want and you know that in your heart of hearts, you gotta, you gotta sacrifice for three, four years and go for that house that you really wanted. You gotta live in the mud and the shit. There's no point going to get in a car and finance and getting the cheapest mortgage you can just so you, get, you can say, I've got my own house and a BMW. This life isn't an ego trip. That's not what it's about. It's about personal happiness. And if your personal happiness is a fucking penthouse on the moon, well, you're gonna have to put that work in. You know, now some people are happy with less, but you still have a level. And until you get there, you're just kidding yourself. And that's what some of you guys do. I'll get with this woman because at least it's regular sex. I find her hotter. I actually would rather be with her. But, you know, it's somebody. I really want that car, but this one's cheaper and it's still good and people will still think I'm wealthy. Guys, what are we doing? What are we doing? Aim for the life that you actually want. You've got to have this middle section. You've got to have dreams, sacrifices, accomplishments. You can't have dreams, settle, never get to the heights that you want to get to. Because that's how everybody lives. That's how everybody lives. And you're probably all at the age now where you're in your 20s, whatever, and you've got a decision to make. All your friends are going out and getting drunk. Lockdown's about to end. All your friends are going out and getting drunk. They're all chasing after women. They're all buying new cars. They're all getting houses. They're all having kids, etc. They're not at the point that they want to be at. They're all making sacrifices. Sorry, they're not making sacrifices. They're all buying new clothes. They're buying a nice new watch. They don't have the money to get these things. Or they do, but it leaves them on zero. It leaves their bank account on zero. You've got to make a decision. Are you going to stick and stay at that mediocrity level, having things that are lower than the standards that you actually wanted to be at, but they make you feel good and they stroke your ego a little bit? Or are you willing to fucking twist, sit it out in the mud and the darkness for a couple of years in order to, to reach a much better life, the one that you actually want and achieve true happiness. Stick or twist. <sighs> what a sick video. This YouTuber's name is First Man. I've linked it in the description of this video and you can also just click on his name in the title of this video to see his channel. His channel is literally a gold mine if you're a young man trying to reach success. Do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. Mwah.